Hello, friends. <laughs> Can you hear me? Is it eerily quiet? Um, this is a little bit different, isn't it? We're, we're live at 4.30 in the afternoon, quite a bit different from my regular time. And that's because you guys know that I'm experimenting with different times, which means um, I, I didn't really announce that I was going to be doing this until just now. So we don't know who's going to be here or who's not. David, it's good to see that you're here. Um, I'm, I'm like getting real finicky with these things. The reason I'm streaming in the afternoon today is because you guys knew that there was probably not going to be a stream today because at seven o'clock I have plans. I'm not going to be here. And that's when I got to thinking, instead of jumping ship and being like, hey, why don't I change my stream schedule completely? What if I just became a little bit more loosey goose with my schedule? And it's like, you know, we've got our business as usual where it's like, keep the stream at seven o'clock for the most part. But, you know, on certain days and, and maybe like on weekends, and in fact, like Fridays, maybe I could even stream on Saturdays if I decide to stream at a different time and, you know, give a couple of days in the week where I don't stream at seven and I stream at a different time. That way, you know, maybe some other people who happen to have different hours free can tune in without completely shutting off some of my, my friends that I've already made online who, you know, are free at seven o'clock. Byro Demon Eye, hello. Also, I didn't want to formally announce the stream because we might play the Stanley Parable a little bit more today. We also might not, because I don't know if I <laughs> I don't know if I'm gonna be able to make it work. I was curious, one thing that really bothered me when we played this the first time. Phenomenal game, by the way. Um it was really, really choppy on stream. Um stream whenever, make it a mystery. Yeah, that that'll <laughs> That'll be popular with, with people who are trying to follow me. Um, Stanley Parable played really choppy. And the only conclusion I can come to is that I typically, historically, have only played games that I think either run at 30 frames per second or are games with virtually no movement where you wouldn't really notice choppiness, like the Ace Attorney series. And I believe that the Stanley Parable is a game that runs 60 frames per second. And when I move the character Stanley, that seems to be where you see a lot of dropped frames. And I didn't notice them because on my monitor, it looks fine while I'm playing the game. But when I went back and looked at the live stream, because it, a couple of people had brought it up, I was like, ooh, yeah, that didn't look, that didn't look so good. So I did change a couple of settings on my OBS, but I'm not technologically savvy and I don't know if the settings that I changed are going to help or if they're going to make the situation significantly worse. And I don't know if at the end of the day, it might come down to the fact that I just don't have a strong enough computer to do this or not. I, I don't know. I don't know if it was my settings or my computer or my internet. It shouldn't be my internet because I am hardwired. And I was, like, I, I'm, I'm connected by the Ethernet. I'm not streaming over Wi-Fi. I've learned my lesson about trying to do that. So we'll boot up the game to, to get started. We'll see if we can uh, make something good happen here. And we can play for a little bit before I go out for my Friday night plans. That's kind of what I am looking forward to doing today. Nintendo Gamer, is at 7 p.m. already? Not yet, unfortunately. Uh, time, time, time. Time always escapes me. I feel a little like a... A little low to the ground here. It's probably just because I'm slouching. <laughs> just gotta stand myself upright. Um, I wonder also if I have this should probably move over here. This should move over here. Ugh. Please enter the current time. Whoa, uh-oh. Didn't I already do this? You, you guys saved my data, right? Game, the time is 4.30. Eight. <laughs> Wait, I have to go to PM, don't I? Four. Thirty. Eight. Confirm. Uh, Espero, hey everyone, happy Friday. Just wing it. Hang on, hang on. Yeah, are, yeah, wait, what? Do you remember that we've been here before? Before we get started, can I just say something? 
Thank you for actually setting the clock both times you've booted the game up. Oh no, my chat's in the way. Booted up the game. Um, we might need to get you guys, we might need to lift you just a little bit, just a hair. Put you up here, so you're not as in the way. Um, honestly, thank you, game. It's nice to be treated with a little bit of affection. Like, yeah, you, you did make me set the clock twice, and I'm really happy that, like, you're, you're thanking me for it. A lot of people don't take that step seriously. They just leave the clock set to 12 and call the day. Honestly, I was wondering about that. Am I weird? I, <laughs> I'm a rule follower, but it was weird to me because, like, does it have any effect in the game? It didn't seem to the first time we played. So, <laughs> what's the deal with this clock thing? But you're actually taking the time to set the clock. I appreciate that. Oh my god, listen, I'd be such a good employee. I think that's what the game is telling me. They're like, you're complicit. We like people who are complicit. <laughs> that's how I know you care about this experience. You're paying attention. I don't, have, I don't even have any way of knowing if the times you're setting are correct. Are you sure about that? Everything's so connected to the internet, I feel like that just can't be true. Tell you what, I'll make you a deal. Since you've been so cooperative, next time you boot up the game and see this screen, just set the clock to your favorite time. Ooh. Okay, 2 a.m. <laughs> Go ahead, pick whichever time you want, even if it's not the correct time. You've earned it! I don't know, do you think it's a trap? Alright, I'll let you back to the video game now. Wow, what a weird... What a weird troll! I'm not mad about it. It's, it's delightfully charming. Oh, we're back. Um... Sliders and timer BS don't matter in any way. It's just this dialogue. <laughs> just a fun little Easter egg, I guess. Um, did I watch the trailer for the new Pokemon games? I did not watch the trailer. I've seen people on Twitter freaking out about the male trainer. And that he's super hot, and that everybody wants to bend over for him. Um, some guys who I've previously dated, I I've lost to this virtual Pokemon trainer. That makes me feel very good about myself. <laughs> Um, never had to think about what time is my favorite. 420 blaze it. Uh, 420 p.m. Yeah, but PRS, what about 420 a.m.? That's what we gotta know. So we're gonna begin the game. The thing that we have to look at is we have to look at Stanley walking. And I'm gonna have to get your guys' feedback. You can be honest. I'm afraid that Stanley walking is still gonna be choppy. I don't know that we have a solution for this. Which sucks. This is the story of a man named Stanley. Alright, we've seen this before. If you haven't, you can watch the first stream. So Stanley is a man. Now what I will tell you guys is for me, walking feels relatively smooth. Honestly, but so on my end, it, it looks like I'm just playing this game as if I were playing it on the Switch. It, it feels... All first-person games to me feel a little bit clunky, and they give me a little bit of motion sickness, but for what it's worth, as I walk back and forth, I wouldn't describe it as, like, choppy, but then on your guys' end on your stream, I need to know what you guys are seeing. That's what's really important here. Oh! Oh, there's the vent. I wonder if there's any in-game options that would help me. In the settings, maybe? Field of view. We could change the field of view. Camera sensitivity. Invert Y. Controller vibration. English. It could be fun to switch his language, but I should really know what's going on. A bit choppy, but not horrible. Hmm. Hmm. Well, let's not delete our save data. There's our old office. Are we going in the vent today also? Uh, as long as I'm waiting for you guys to give me Psst. feedback on- Oh! Stand Jesus! Me. Come over here! Hi. In the vent! In I the want vent. to show you something! Ooh. Ooh, do you see that? Looks a little... 
Looks a little suspect there. You think it looks the same as last time? So, so choppy then. Like walking around here, this all looks... Oh. Honestly, to me, it looks a little... You don't want to see the cool surprise I made for you? Well, fine. Well, I didn't you say that. Oh, never mind. You're not a dog. <laughs> what if I just keep going back and forth? Will he say anything again? Aw, oh, damn it, he doesn't. Um, well, that really sucks. I wish there was a way I could fix that a little bit. Let me open... I'm sure this doesn't change anything. <laughs> I'm sure there's nothing I can do on the Switch that would help me out here. What is my TV resolution? 720, that sounds normal, right? <laughs> Do 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 do. Uh, because uh, 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 um. otherwise I don't know what else to do. All right, looking at the frames per second. Huh, that's weird. Ooh, the ice cream truck is coming by. Can you guys hear it? We can deal with the choppiness. I'm here for the content. So what's interesting is that the game, OBS says it's streaming at 30 frames per second, which would obviously be a problem because I'm pretty sure this game runs at 60 frames per second. But in my settings, I could have sworn I had it set to 60 frames per second. So I don't know if that just means my computer is not good enough to stream. That's so peculiar. Cause, all right. When it comes to technologically savvy people, I'm being told that the dropped frames is at 0.6%, 0.5%, which sounds low, right? It doesn't sound like a lot of dropped frames. But it says I'm streaming at 30 frames per second, even though my settings say 60 frames per second. Oh, I don't get it. Hmm. All right, I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do something aggressive here. We're gonna take a quick little cut. I'm going to be right back. Hang with me. I'm gonna see if I can change anything. Hopefully, I'll be gone less than a minute. Boo boo boo. All right. I, I hope I, I'll, I'll have to find out if you guys can hear me and see me again. So, I just started the stream just now. As I'm watching, and I'm not moving at all, <laughs> this still image of the game, it is telling me that it's running at 59 FPS. Almost up oh, 60 FPS. So I'm curious, as soon as I start to move my character, I wonder if like I'm gonna experience a huge drop. Hmm. Do 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 do. Do 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 do. Does it look super choppy for you guys? I need you guys. Oh, great. <laughs> I'm getting attacked by bots and Z having to deal with this. This is <laughs> everything that I needed. Okay, come on. Person, put user in timeout. Does somebody want to be a moderator? <laughs> um, PRS, does it look smoother for real? 
Are, are you are you yanking my chain? <laughs> are you pulling a fast one on me? Or does it did, did I actually somehow do something correctly? It looks smoother. Yes. I wonder if it'll stay that way. Don't worry, guys. Since we're doing this at the beginning of the stream, I can edit this boring part out when it goes to video on demand. <laughs> um, it, it is smoother. Okay. It, even if it's not perfect, if it's better than what it was, I, I'm definitely happy about that. Um, so you won't hear a complaint out of me. The next question then is, um, while we keep our fingers crossed that it'll stick that way for a little bit, am I going in the vent today or are we still trying to do more things this way? You guys need to give me a little bit of a reminder because I don't entirely remember. I know I'm dumping a lot of information on you guys. I'm asking for someone to be a moderator, trying to change my stream, trying to do this. Um, oh, don't worry, it's been 20 minutes and I haven't even started the game. God. How am I not a more popular streamer? <laughs> I'm so fantastic at what I do. Pinky's out. Ah, just enjoy the quiet. I don't know if you guys can hear it, but there are like some screaming children outside. The people across the street, I, I, there, there must be like a birthday or something because they have a bounce house and there's just all the neighborhood kids having fun all the time. Did I speak about the stream time discussion on Discord? I did not make any specific posts only because I haven't come to a solid conclusion. So I still need to think about that. Um, but what I, what I am thinking, even though I haven't fully committed, is to, like, mostly doing my stream at 7 o'clock like normal. And then um, trying to switch things up a little bit here and there, as needed. Crash the bounce house. No, uh, listen, as an adult man, there are certain things you cannot do. Going to a children's party and crashing their bounce house is one of those things you cannot do. <laughs> Um, Alright, so without any further feedback, I guess we're going to try and go into the vent today. So, let me get myself resituated so I know of a good place to uh, start up when I edit all of this tragic nonsense out. Alright, let's, let's restart, refresh ourselves, <clears throat> let me get one more drink, and then I'm going to start as if this is a brand new stream. Ah. All right, boys, welcome back to the Stanley Parable. I've spent the last 20 minutes dicking around here doing not much of anything, but I figured out how to make the stream look a little bit smoother, apparently, and I think today we're going into the vent. We played this game yesterday for the very first time. I did a whole bunch of stuff in the office. It was very fun, and, and, and now we're going to try and do some more things and stuff and get some more content. Um... This is where the new content is, allegedly. I'm excited to go in it. I'm excited to talk to our narrator, and we're just going to get into it. <laughs> All right, I'm sorry to everybody who's been waiting around for me while I tried to get my life in order, but here we are. Can I stand in here? I guess not. Um, oh. Hmm. All right, this looks like a one-way trip, but let's go for it. The end is never the end. It's never the end. Not once. Okay, you remember how cheap and unsatisfying the new Ultra Deluxe content turned out to be? Well, it got me thinking mm -hmm. about the past and how much better the Stanley Parable used to be. So I made something special and tucked it away here where the game's developers won't find it. Just our little secret. Take a My look. God, we have a secret together. All right, what's what, what's the thing? Um, do do I are we gonna be friends with this guy? Maybe a little bit. He has a, such a sexy voice. I'm such a such a sucker for something like that. Um, ew, we're going deeper. I see. Okay. Let's go. Wow. Holy cathedral! What is going on in this place? I call it the Memory Zone. It's where I've been storing all my favorite memories so I can relive the peak experiences of my life whenever I want. 
Oh, it's experiences beautiful. like the launch of the Stanley Parable on PC. Yeah, I'm not a PC gamer, so I missed out on that one. The Memory Zone. Okay, let's take a look. You see, Stanley, ah, doesn't the memory zone remind you of how wonderful Stanley Parable was when I graduated before high it was school. solid with a cheap Nintendo Switch <laughs> port? <laughs> Remember back in October of 2013, when the game originally launched? Back then, video games had integrity. Back, back in then, my day. it all meant something. Oh, right. the waste. Whoa. Pressurized gas? What is this? I'm sorry, is that where you downloaded it? Memory, sweet memory. Got some lovely grass, that's nice. Uh, the Stanley Parable. For Windows. <laughs> um, audience Award, 2014 Games Development. Oh, this is such a nice little celebration. What is this one? Stanley Parable. Okay. Good times. Good times like standing in front of the two doors. Um, all right, so I recognize most of these pictures. Yes, the mind control facility, lovely, nice. It's like a little museum of all things Stanley. This game is too self, too self-aware. Our first kiss, my first car, the release of Stanley Parable in 2013. Do you get the vibe that like, you know, have, have you ever met one of these, a, a person in your life who They've had their, like, one really big successful thing, and they, they get a little bit stuck on it, and they can't seem to move past it. <laughs> this feels a little bit like that vibe. You know, like a child actor who was never able to progress beyond, you know, their, their childhood successful role, and it's like they're forever just encased in, like, Back in my day, I used to be so-and-so on the Disney Channel. Oh my god, here comes my bot again. I don't understand why I'm getting attacked by these people. <laughs> Oi. Like, I, you get bots every once in a while, but like, I don't know why I'm getting so many now. YouTube, what's up with that? <laughs> I don't understand the platform. Is this their first dollar? <laughs> Man. You know what sucks? Is I feel like this would have such a stronger impact on me if I had played this game in 2013 and I also had the nostalgia to be like, oh yes, let's remember. Unachievable, it is impossible to get this achievement. <laughs> Go outside. Don't play for five years. Oh, that's a tough one to get, I guess. Nominee. Nominee, nominee. Is there a way to ban them? I've tried, not that I can see. I can report them. I can report individual messages. But I don't know how to ban. All right, whatever, we'll figure it out. Do 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 New video game releasing today, the New York Times Um Wait, did that say the New York Times or was that a pun? The New Donk New Donk Times. Oh I oh I I saw this ending. Alright, so where to next? game has a don't play for 10 years oh and over here is where i keep reviews of the stanley parable like this stunning triumph of games journalism james stephanie sterling writes and i quote where so many games that aspire to be more than games end up less than any form of art stanley parable strives and then succeeds to be every game ever created did you hear that stanley Every game ever created. That's how grand and all-encompassing the original Stanley Parable Even was. Even so, holding the game it to the standards of any other title is simply not going to be correct. Created. So it was Skyrim, it was Persona 3, HD. it was all of them, and now, it's nothing. It's no games at we all. Don't. 
It isn't even the Stanley Parable anymore. It's, it's not. It's just a husk now. A lifeless husk with an hour of new elevator content. Yeah, but, you know, it was a nice elevator. So... I, I appreciate the work you've done. Don't get me wrong here. But... It's the woman who found our dead body. But, um, like, is there... Is there more for me to... To do, you know? What's down here? Memory zone maintenance. Ooh, see, like, I'm curious. This is where I would like to check out, actually. Hmm. This just feels a little bit, I don't know, bland. In the nicest way possible, of course. I want to stay on your good side. Uh-oh. Got some more pictures. Got a car. Can't go in there. Right? Yep. Yep. It's a lot of, a uh, lot of fanfare. Okay. It w I get it. It was a great game. We love to live in its memories. Here's another moving passage. The Stanley Parable is both a richly stimulating commentary on the nature of choice in games and one that offers some of the most enjoyable, surprising, and rewarding choices I've ever been confronted with in a game. Nine out of ten. Don't you get it, Stanley? The game was perfect. It didn't need anything else. It didn't need new content. Nine All they had to perfect. do was transport it in pristine condition along to the Nintendo Switch. Boom. Done. And they couldn't even do that couldn't resist the urge to go meddling with a beloved franchise. Alright, well tell me how you really feel. <laughs> okay, so so you know how you know how our narrator feels. <sighs> Don't add new content superfluously to games. Ah, it's But open. I wouldn't give to go back to have it all over again. Wait, hang on. What? I don't recall this part of the memory zone before. Oh, it's the maintenance part. What's this? What's down oh, here? Oh, look, cold drinks. I don't know, I'm trying to find out. Uh, ooh. Oh, no, oh, God, messy, no, Stanley. You? It's a collection of reviews from Pressurized Gas, the extremely popular online storefront for computer games. I haven't oh. looked at these in years. I can't even imagine what's being collecting down here. Are these the bad reviews? Surely these reviews were glowing as well, weren't they? <laughs> Let's find out. Not Honestly, recommended. I could not be bothered to play this game to full completion. The narrator is obnoxious and unfunny, oh. with his humor and dialogue proving to oh, be more God, irritating go to than hate entertaining. Unfunny. I know, narrator. I can relate. I oh, jeez. I'm trying to make a serious work of art. I suppose I could write up a handful of gags to insert into the Stanley Parable, but you the game is already such a densely layered web of profound philosophical insights that I can't even imagine where I'd have the room to stick them. There's so much stuff in here. Doo -doo. Doo -doo. Let's get another okay, bad one. Let's see what this one says. While the idea for the game is good, for someone who prefers non-linear games, this preachiness gets annoying fast. Preachy? Stanley? I'm not preachy, am I? You uh... can tell me if I'm preachy. Honestly, you can. Oh, goodness. Okay. This is actually quite shocking for me. I, I always, well, to be honest, I had always thought of the game's shocked. dialogue as being rather terse to begin with. You can't know how much fluff I cut from the game to get it to feel as light and airy as it... Well, I always thought it did, but maybe it wasn't. Oh dear, what an awful memory to have to hold on to. These black marks yeah. are my otherwise unimpeachable track record. It's best to not repeat, I feel honestly. like a failure. Like I let these people down. Perhaps the Stanley Parable isn't quite as sterling as I always remembered. Porting it from Source to Unity was actually really difficult. Hmm. Intriguing. Ooh. 
What's this one got to oh say? God, there's do, 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 do. You constantly have to stop doing anything so the narrator can catch up with his long-winded explanations of what's happening. I wish there was a skip button. I a do not, button. if it's up to well, me, honestly. Well, yes. Are we going to drown? Yes, I think we can do that. If I'm truly too preachy, then, then maybe letting you skip ahead for just a moment, surely it couldn't hurt. Not if it means we can strike these negative reviews from the record. Only positive reviews okay. of the Stanley Parable. That's my motto today, and it's I... always been oh. my motto. I'd do anything for the customer, Stanley. Yes, a skip button we shall have. I don't need a skip button, honestly. I, I find you delightful. You know, your commentary saves me a hell of a lot of work, if I'm going to be totally and honest. And here it is. Go ahead and give it a shot. I'll pop you forward in time so that the second my incessant droning starts to bore you, <laughs> with just the push of a button, you'll have zipped right past it. It's okay. what the players have been asking for, and I'm very proud to have delivered. No more listening to me rambling on and on and on. No, 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 no. The Stanley Parable is a game for the people. And if the people want silence, then by goodness, that's what they're going to get. Of course. Well, don't sit around waiting for me to shut up. Go ahead and make me shut up. Here, we'll pretend that I've just begun an interminable monologue. And it goes something like this. Oh, I, I gotta hear it. And the choice, <laughs> or what have you. And therefore, by becoming it is. So on I and so forth. I think, and because, and therefore, we so, therefore, the because, time, you know, therefore. Which time, everything all at once. So, now you see. No, it's blah, fine. Blah, I'm going to listen. We've eaten too much and it can't be just yet. No, no, until 245. Got the logic of elimination working backwards. The deduction, therefore, becomes impossible to manufacture. Therefore, you it went see. on for nearly... 10,000 years until just yesterday, here and there, forward and back. Listen, and I was a science a teacher. I understand what it's Copy. like. You just have to talk all the time and have no one listen. There is. How many billions left until so much more than forever ago? A Which is why I say the story and the choices, or what have you, and therefore by becoming Wait, it is, is it so on and so forth, until inevitably, we all until the end of time, at which time everything all at once, so it might be now repeating. you see, blah 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 We've eaten too much and it can't be just yet, no no, until 245. Got the logic of elimination working backwards, the deduction therefore becomes impossible to manufacture. It went on for nearly 10,000 years, until just yesterday, here and there, oh. forward and back. And sorry, never Stanley, or lunchtime. sorry, narrator, I, I got distracted by another bot. The only <laughs> thing there is. How many billions left until okay, so, so yeah, much more than forever ago? Which is why I I'm say didn't go on longer. the story and the choice. <laughs> oh, you're back, you see? You I were am. only I frozen skipped. in time for a few minutes, but it was plenty of time for me to deliver a long, rambling monologue full of unnecessary verbal flourishes and lengthy ruminations I felt on the it nature of choice in video games. I'm a little disappointed. Of course, I happen to believe it was perhaps one of my more profound such ruminations. Not that, of course, you need a description of it, but if I had to describe it, I'd say it was perhaps less of a rumination he wants us to and skip more again. of a treatment. Or maybe a manifesto. He's trying to get me to push it again. Look, I'll outline it for you very briefly, uh -huh. and you can tell me what you think. Okay, so my theory is that any choice you've ever made is simply a series of choices made by the person who you are, or were, or will be at the time of having made said choice. That is to say, if by articulating a choice you've already made, you bring that choice into being... Then, by making no choice and saying nothing, are you not simply erecting in the sanctuary of time a monument to every person you've ever been, making every Wait, choice to which me. you've ever given your great gift of mortal and yet timeless thought? Or rather, do all of the choices you've ever made, in fact, make you more not this kind of person, and in fact, do the very opposite? You see, it could in fact be both of these things at once. That you are both making choices. Oh, this is just and like philosophy choices, class. And Listen, I took a class called the Philosophy of Women. And I'm a man. Time, by virtue of the fact that you all both we had to do was listen to students them. talk okay, about things first, like the wage gap, which is fine. But like, but now I'm going to circle around and what, slap the what were we learning? Not so much. It was just like much more of a It was like political discourse. It's just sharing their opinions. And the class had like six people in it, and all we did was just talk about the same shit every single day. And most of us were all like in agreement with each other, so there wasn't even really debates that would happen. It just See, felt like a waste of time. To you know, for, for a, here's the thing. We're going to be here I, I think it's nice okay, to talk about these issues, but should I have paid exactly thousands of, sort of dollars to earn college credit to sit in this, in this room and just talk frequently. about 
I'm going my to philosophical say thoughts on women, I don't think so. Succession until I become sick of That's one just me, or the other. you know? In which case, the word I am not sick of shall be the victor. Uh, has this it one is looped yet? Unimpeachable strategy, I, I, I wasn't it's paying enough rescued attention. me from disaster in countless situations. Countless. All right, here we go. Yes. Treatise. Manifesto. What? Treatise. Manifesto. Repeat. Treatise. Manifesto. Treatise. Manifesto. Treatise. Man. Manifesto. I tried to hold Treatise. out as long as I could. Manifesto. Treatise. Do you think this Manifesto. is just going to go on indefinitely? Treatise. Manifesto. Treatise. Manifesto. Treatise. Manifesto. Treatise. Manifesto. Treatise. Manifesto. Treatise Manifesto. It's treatise. not Treatise Manifesto. manifesto. It's Treatise, treatise manifesto. manifesto. Honestly, Ron. Treatise. Manifesto. Ron, treatise. stop. Manifesto. Treatise Manifesto. Treatise. Manifesto. Bitches. <laughs> treatise Manifesto. Treatise Manifesto. We're gonna treatise. get the Treatise Manifesto. 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 Alright, I think we have to skip. I, I tried to wait. I don't think treatise. it's going anywhere. Manifesto. <laughs> well there, sport. You really did catch me rambling on a bit, didn't you? A little but bit. But that's the power of the button. So the minute powerful. I start to go off on a thoughtless display of self-absorption, it's right at your fingertips to go, poof, and it's poof. all over. <laughs> I can't wait to see what Cookie Nine will say about this, and whether they'll edit the rating of their pressurized you, guest Here's the thing, narrator. Change some of the wording, you can't perhaps. win the haters. To be honest, it's like they I thrive off of hate. I don't know if one can change their review in the first place. Exactly. I guess I should become better educated on how exactly pressurized guests You could make the works. best game ever, and they'll still find something to perhaps shit on. Perhaps that would have been a smart thing to check like on before I went type. on about this whole exercise of making the skip button. Some Although people are just crotchety. That after seeing this exciting new technology at work, so surely whoever it is who runs pressurized gas will instantly run out and implement a new feature to make it possible to edit one's review merely because of this very situation. You're gonna yes. have to wait for Twitter I to make a button to edit our tweets first. Or perhaps they'll simply grant this particular user. Uh, Alicia, the this is to only the stream time review. for today so because I'm going to be busy abused. at seven o'clock tonight. Look, I would so even I be okay with today. pressurized gas altering this particular review so that it reads as something more benef- From the ashes of I depravity love censorship. rises the phoenix of quality. <laughs> wow. How else to describe the Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe? A cash grab? Such a revolutionary step forward in the lineage of one of the most beloved video game properties of all time. <sighs> the additions and changes made to this expansion will surely resonate in the annals of the history of all media ever I made. I feel like it is perhaps true to there's say probably that no mistakes here. are forever etched in stone like, for the a, stone a into which the stand about capitalism car <laughs> about has capitalism been transmuted and offering the a fact message that of all of this extra who content is just the judgment. narrator you are not beyond redemption. talking you may endlessly change, and you may become and it's encouraging more, us so to skip much more the than bonus you were content before. If there is any message to be taken from the Stanley Yes, what is the message? Ultra That's what I got from it. Is it. This. Mm -hmm. What a fortune. A, a fortune. A joy it is Perfect. to have had such an What do I have experience. going on at 7? There is a gay pride kickoff a party happening. A world. Uh, because there is it's our month, my tease. It's the first weekend of our month. As great as we so ever could and dream of in our wildest, most ambitious visions for a brighter future. Wow. Now, Stanley, that's a review. It's... it's perfect. It's the perfect review. It's the review I've always dreamed of receiving. I... well, I have to read it again. It's simply too wonderful. I have to experience this just one more time. Mm -hmm. From the ashes of depravity rises the phoenix of quality. Okay, How else we're to describe the let's, let's skip. <laughs> Okay, welcome back, Stanley. Now, yep. I should say that the amount of time the button has been skipping through is becoming longer and longer. That last one was, well, I want to say maybe 30, 45 minutes. Whoa. It's not unendurable by any means, but it's, well, there's really only so much I can ramble on to myself about. I know, it's shocking, isn't it? But at any rate, I do suggest that we not press the button again. Do not I press it. I think the skip button has been aptly demonstrated, and we can say goodbye to it and just... Wait, I agree. How do we get out of here? I don't know. Where you did locked the door. The door. Go? Wait, it's Wasn't gone. Is there a door that led into this room? I do feel quite certain that the oh, no. door before. How else would we have gotten into the room in the <laughs> you first place? You stop looking I for don't one think minute. One can enter a room without a door of some sort or a window or something like that. Do That's you see a window true. anywhere? 
A porthole? God, I wonder how a much time we're going to spend large in here. crack in the wall? I'll take any of these. All I want is for us to move on and to please step away from the skip button to go As anywhere insist. other than the skip button. There I would love that. There was here before, wasn't there? I like this place. I swear there was. Where did it go? Can you maybe just ram your way through a wall? Is, like the Kool-Aid man? Is there man? any possibility Whoa! that you could say, slam <laughs> your body into the wall until enough damage is done for you Stanley to Stanley doesn't get a lot leave? of speed, is Please, the thing. I'll take any option at all. We're just I'm kind of asking stuck you here. to work with me here. I'm I, trying! We need a door. We need a door You're of some the kind. creator. I can work with any kind of door, as long as it can open and I have lead from literally one no room power. to another. I, I'm going to step away for just a moment. Yeah, go for it. And I'm going it. to try to find us a door. All right. I don't know how exactly to remove a door and place it in a different wall, but I will find a way, mm -hmm. I promise. You just need to not do anything. Don't press the skip button. Please, please, please I do get not it. press the skip button. Just wait here. So this is, this is funny. And don't press the skip button. He's going to go away. Yes, good. And nothing's going right to happen. Back. Yep. And so... The million dollar question is, because this game, it doesn't let you know. I, I'm burned. Obviously, pressing the skip button is going to do something to advance the game. And obviously, we can sit here for an hour and have nothing happen. I'm so curious. If you wait long enough, do you think he would come back? You guys probably know, because you guys probably are more familiar with this game. Um... I, I, I wonder if you like wait an hour, two hours, ten hours, if he comes back with a door. I would not put it past this game. However, I think for the sake of a stream, we're probably going to have to push the skip button. Because otherwise, I, <laughs> I, I don't see anything else happening for us. Which is a shame. Because I, I, I would love more than anything. Only an hour, maybe twelve. All right, fine. We're gonna do it. Sorry, Stanley, narrator. Oh, Stanley, yeah. Stanley, please don't apart. push the button again. It's been twelve hours. You've just been frozen there. I don't know why the skips are getting longer, but they're really, truly getting longer. And my God, there's no way out of the room. So that's Stanley, funny. the said door is hours. gone. It's completely so you gone. You probably did have to wait twelve hours. I've looked at it from every angle. I've checked every one of those walls a thousand times, and there's no door, Stanley. There's no door. There's just you and the button. And if you keep pressing it, I have no idea what will happen. I have no idea how long I'll be made to sit here. And more than anything else, I don't know how to stop you from pressing the button again. Keep me entertained. I can't control anything in this room, Stanley. I can't touch it. And I have to believe. How was my I dinner last night? It was fantastic. No matter I should share a picture I of what I had. You, I had a stuffed salmon. Again. Why it was a you? salmon stuffed with I've crab been meat. And thinking, oh, and I, I don't know what so I can do to convince you. I love you my otherwise. seafood and crab. Oh, oh, I'm a fan. And it's all because of And uh, they had live music, which was nice. That I couldn't and it was nice to see my family. The thing is, we're probably going to go out to dinner again next week because my sister will still be in town, and we're going to go out for my birthday. Why did Cookie Nine's opinion matter so much to me? I think that's probably going to be on Monday night. And I have then, no idea my sister who flies back are. out Wednesday, so what she'll be gone really before it's my matter, actual birthday on Thursday. So we have to like do something before then. So we'll have a nice little family dinner. And then Thursday we might stream or do something fun for my birthday. One of my imperfections, and I become as impetulant as a child. Yeah, what's going on with you, Meredith? Impulsive. I can't help myself. I'm so I can't impulsive. stop myself from lashing out with a vengeful fury uh -huh. to alter and to change and to break and how does anything unbroken. If only it pleases this one person who made a single negative comment. What does such an impulse serve? For whose benefit is this? And here I am now, stuck in a room, waiting for you to press this button and to become frozen in time, knowing that you're going to do That's it. That's what's going to happen. I'm going to be stuck all alone, and that I had the power to prevent it all from happening, if only I'd held my tongue. Yes. It's all out of my control now. Just you. Just your decision. Wow. As to exactly when you're going to make me suffer, to leave me all alone. Surely you will. I don't doubt it. Surely you'll press this is riveting. again, leaving me here. And surely Guys, I'm glad we picked a really exciting gameplay section. To see what's next ahead of my need for company, for companionship. Oh. Surely you'll not be moved by my howls of fitful anxiety that you sit I with am. me and just I don't think here. Stanley oh, will no, be. No, 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 I know you too well. You'll be leaving me. Oh my God. 
And it's all because of those reviews. Just those reviews that reviews. I couldn't get out of my head. I just couldn't ignore the negative feedback. It's hard Why was it to so ignore important the negative for feedback. me to fix the problem? Why did Cookie 9's opinion matter so much to me? I've never even met Cookie 9. I have no idea. It's probably who just they a loser are. who just what only leaves really hate matter, comments. But here's the thing about I hate am. comments. I'm fixing you have to wonder tiny who the people that are that ever leave says hate comments, me. right? The mention because of my imperfections like, and I, I don't like all content that child. I see. I of course see things that I think are cringy or stupid. But I've never left from a hate out with a comment because it's like, fury to alter why, to why would you just try to like ruin somebody's day if of like who posted this something that you thought was stupid? When you see something you don't comment. like, you kind of just ignore it or There's scroll away. Impulse, you you have to like have benefit is this? some kind of like am, thing in, in who you are as a person to be like, I need to leave hate. I need to try to ruin this person's day. And there's a lot of people that are like that. But you just gotta think of like, what's so sad about their lives that they have to do if that. Only I'd held my it's a little tongue. bit weird. All right, I think we're looping. It's all out of my control now. Yeah, I think. All right, Just let's go. We tried. Oh, Stanley. Oh, jeez. You're back. Oh, oh no. Goodness. I have someone to talk to again. Stanley, okay. how I, long has it been? I think it's been a week. Boy. Or two weeks. I've been so sitting hard to here see. all that time. Just sitting here. Not a single person to speak with. And you'd think that that's just how it's always been, right? Uh -huh. Me talking. And you saying nothing. Yep. Would you think that it's exactly the same as always? Doesn't that feel like what we've already been doing? Me just talking? But it isn't Stanley. No. It isn't the same at all. No, it's It isn't different. even close. Because I know you can't hear me once you push that button. That's what I'm realizing now, Stanley. I'm realizing that I needed to know that someone was listening. I'm I needed here. there to be a vessel through which my words were moving. It Some was the vessel I very much Stanley. okay to talk not to yourself. Outcomes, not or maybe it's not. None Don't listen to me. I'm not a professional, I'll but I talk up. to myself I'll give sometimes. Up every and even when I know path, no one's listening, sometimes when I talk to, the to myself, it makes me feel a little bit better. One single thing I need, and God, I can see now that I need it more than anything, is Man. to know that someone else is This is like a really good game. These words that I'm saying, I need to know you can hear me. How patient can you be? How long can you listen to me? How long can I listen to the narrator? Maybe, How long can you as the chat listen to me and maybe the narrator compete for talking and getting your attention? Of that all along? Perhaps, it's pretty intense, yeah. I, I will say. Perhaps I've been scared this it's whole an interesting time. conundrum we've gotten stop, ourselves into I'll here. backwards into the silence and be consumed by it. Consumed. I can't be taken by it, Stanley. I can't lose myself in the stretch of I should probably just be pressing the button as when fast you press as I can. That button, you're still but I'm right trying there, but I know so hard you're to be so polite, which is like far me in away. social situations. And in those moments, the emptiness falls when somebody just rambles, I just listen and I am for as long as they go. Quietness. I can feel the edges of my reality curdling inward and decaying. Ugh, I hate the word curdle. I can tell that I am becoming less and less real. Yet to speak to you now, I am alive. I am truly and completely here. I am a being. I am someone. I am something. Aren't I am we being all listened someone? to. I am being recognized. I the hear emptiness you. between us you has collapsed, important. and you I matter. feel right now like I am not a work of fiction. I feel as though I it's totally normal to talk to yourself. Now take the pills. George. And I have cast a shadow onto the wall. You see what I'm saying, don't you? I you have. can see what this means to me. It means I'm so, so much. clear about it now, Stanley. I feel as certain about this as I've ever felt about anything at all. I feel mm -hmm. renewed. I feel restored. And already I can sense the That's looming great. silence. Hey, narrator, did you, as you hear that Kim Kardashian would the eat poop time. if it kept her what younger? A I'm trying to think if I would do the same. To think of returning to like, such coldness. Come. I already eat ass, sit in silence which does here nothing for, just a for you, Let us other than pure pleasure. It. Let us and work. that's like Let us not only from... one step removed away from eating poop, I feel. So that's <laughs> something we got together. All right, so we're going to sit in silence, and I'm guessing this is going to go on forever. Anthony Porter, your stream is something to look forward to since I was laid off yesterday. Oh, no. Anthony Porter, I'm so sorry to hear that. Um, I hope you land back on your feet and find something new that's right up your alley. Hopefully, maybe even something a little bit better. Um, that's... I, I've been laid off before um, at a job, and, and I know that that is a tough pill to swallow. It comes with a lot of stress. Um, I know when I was laid off, I was a little bit lucky because I had a plan of what was going to be happening next in my life. I was already planning to leave, um, but like, yeah, 
being laid off sucks. Let's skip! <laughs> Don't you wish you could just skip the pain? Oh, hello. It's you. It's You're me. here again. Welcome. I have had time to think about you and about us and about everything we've been through. I've had so much time. I stopped keeping I track see. after a year. Have you ever sat down in one place and not moved for one entire year? Let me describe it for you. I think to begin with, you would there get is only really regret. bad blood clots there in your legs. The and if you tried to stand up, you would die. I felt nothing at all but regret for the longest time, Stanley. Days. Months. I lost it all in a blur of the deepest longing to undo the past. And when that feeling had I begun so to subside, <laughs> what took its place is what I can only mm -hmm. describe as the collapse of every moment I have ever experienced my entire life. All of them collapsed down into a single instant. In that instant, I could see myself clearly, calmly. You know, people who want to do space heart. travel, they it have was to get an used to that. You might have to be in a space pod for up to like a year at a time. Simultaneously, I was consumed by it. Mm -hmm. I could do nothing but wallow in it for what felt like an eternity, for what I now know was far less. You see, it was a revelation this might for be me. What it's like it was to be unlike a therapist. anything I had ever known. It was a space without consequence. Getting without paid action to listen to people outcome. just ramble it about the shit in their life. Entirely from the question of that free will would be nice. that you and I have squabbled over for so long. So long. There could be no one ending, no singular outcome of events. Not if all events existed in the same moment. And I felt freed. I felt unburdened by the need to manifest a particular outcome into being. I saw that I could allow myself to exist along all timelines, and that each of them was simply a strand in the I web of my I just want the narrator's being. British accent. Should I be practicing my British the accent? The equanimity of the, the moment. The equanimity both of the moment. And both singular and For infinite. the longest time, this was my For experience. The time, and then, this, was my experience. this moment passed. And, and the most this unyielding moment fear I have ever known <laughs> oh, crept no, into my mind. Terrible. And it is this sensation that I have been experiencing uh, Cosmetology now. Corner, that's your job? That I could Paid for people to ramble? Do, do, is this what, is it, is this what it's like? For is, for like? is this an accurate representation? Save me or do you do also talk fixed, over them and ignore the things that they're saying? state for you the plain fact of this manner of existence. I just have to also do my job as they ramble. It's amazing. I wish you to feel as I do. That perhaps one day this mm -hmm. state of mind will consume you as well. Consume perhaps me. you will somehow, in some way, have to live as I do now. And I wish for you to know how excruciating it is, and for you to be in true terror of its eventual arrival. If I can only do this, only Professor, this one thing, is that you? perhaps it will bring me the smallest moment of peace in the darkness. <sighs> Are we good, narrator? Are, are we sitting in silence again? Do I need to hit the skip button again? Man. You know, when I went in the vent, I thought we were going to go on, like, this crazy wild adventure today. But no. This stream is going to be me listening to a man talk and pushing a skip button. I'm kind of okay with it. I just... This is not what I had anticipated happening. Are you there? Oh. D did he give up? Mr. Narrator? It's me, your buddy Stanley. I'm back. All right, well, listen. I've tried to be as patient for as long as I can. I think I'm ready to, uh, to, to move on here. <laughs> The, the, the points for the game, all right? You're trying people's patience. I'm curious for, like, the other people who have played this game, how patient they were, or when they were like, fuck this, I'm just gonna keep pushing the skip button. I tried. I really- Oh, God! The fuck is that? All right, the skip button is depressed. Got the clock. What is that alarm? It's louder over here. Hmm. The 
that they didn't understand oh. the game was never meant to be funny. It was meant to have a point. It was meant to speak to the human condition. But where are the jokes? Where are the jokes? They bemoaned. They screamed. I want more they jokes. We're a simple said, people. Entertain us. It wasn't enough. It's glad they to had see to back. leave a pathetic little thumbs down review and make all of their pitiful demands. But then he's talking too much. They said first he didn't entertain us. Now he won't shut up. It's the inconsistency. <laughs> it's the lack of accountability. It's the unwillingness to examine with an uncompromising heart the words that they are speaking into the world. As though there were no consequences for a lack of cohesion in one's assessment of others. But mm -hmm. of course, absolutely anyone can leave a review. So they here's can. what we get. We get these demands that seek everything and are accountable to nothing. We get a world where someone will say, Oh, there should be a skip button. You should be able to freeze Stanley in place while the narrator sits there forever and ever. We want all of this in the new Stanley parable. We demand it. And then, because it was said, because it was spoken, now it simply has to happen. And now we have the it. The most immediate desires. Every single thing demanded by every person at every moment in time. If someone wants it, then it's a crime not to bring it into being. Have we been given to indulging every fleeting whim oh, for hang no on, narrator, reason I other than to do so? Yes! Yes! It seems that this is now the world we live in. It seems that we are a people living in such bleakness and discomfort with ourselves that our entertainment is now our lives. It has come to represent us. It absolutely must speak to who we are as people, because otherwise, without our entertainment, we have nothing. Without entertainment, we would have to face inward toward the cruel bleakness inside ourselves. We would turn to look at our deeper nature and find a resounding emptiness factual. gazing I back mean, with unyielding phones have changed our culture so, so much. So like we have entertainment this, at our we require that our amusements and our playthings and our games, flights of fancy be so impossibly it's like, captivating it's like weird that they to think about like people our existing turn before our heads completely any of this stuff. From the like, bleakness. Oh, you want to entertain yourself? We have you have to like that go out in the real world and hang out with real people. And you're like, oh, what a pitiful reflection of humanity these entertainments are. Like how were people introverted back in the day? They project. I'm not mad. I'm not mad about any of this. I'm at peace with it. I am the calm center of gravity around which these perversions hurl themselves. I am a waypoint for reasonable and collected discourse. They're the yes. ones who are mad. They're the ones who couldn't stand the idea of me using my game to try to say something. Maybe they were just jealous of me. Yes. Yes, of course. They've been jealous of me this whole time. All the they haters are, are just in jealous. Fear and insecurity and cannot help but attempt to tear it's me. It's very down. factual. What a sad like I said, state to, of to have the personality type to feel like you now, have you to try and shit you on other people, you gotta just be like pretty miserable with yourself. Oh, this is getting ridiculous. To truth to these words, there, to there's gotta be a, a way that YouTube can monitor and these for so messages. Long, neutered and sterilized. At last, I am free to truly think, to feel. It must be that they were so discontent with themselves. I don't understand how YouTube doesn't automatically help but leave re the remove negative these review on I'm reporting them. Gas. Every Perhaps single one that comes through. More about them than it ever said about and it's, it's not like they're very creative Perhaps or changing the, the message or their name. So, like, shouldn't they have an automated system to like, keep these things and willpower are so from showing up? In comparison. Perhaps it was this state that do they sought some outlet that? through which to tear me down. I don't get this, it. you can see, is clearly why they felt the need to expect that the game be funny. That it be filled with yucks and whimsical humor. That it amused. But they didn't understand the game was never meant to be funny. It was meant right, to have, have a point. Looped? It was meant to speak to the human con- Alright, wait, listen. I don't know how much more of this I can take. We- I need to just keep skipping, the boys. Is never the end. Is never the end. Is never the end. Is never the <laughs> oh, end. Is no. never the end. Is never the oh, end. Oh no! Is never the end. Is never the end. Is never the oh, end. Oh, this is this is foreboding as fuck. The end is never the end. 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 Make sure nothing's gonna change here. End is never the end. 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 Is never the end, 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 is never 
Hm, dum de dum. It's getting kind of late, narrator. I don't know how much longer I can put up with this. Oh, no! Alright, listen. I didn't mean for it to go so wrong. It's amazing that you're able to break this wall, though, but still not get me a door. Like, what's going on here? Can I not get across this way? Okay. Well, I tried. Let's skip. Let's... Let's skip. None of my business. Oh, it's daylight. Nice. Well, you can tell they really tried with this one. <laughs> Looks nice. We got a jungle. There's still no door, right? No. Well, what the fuck happened to my foliage? Hmm. I'm starting to feel like I'm... Like I'm stuck in an endless loop. Do, 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 do. Can I still push the button? Even though it's down like this? I, oh! I can escape! Look at this! Wow. Wow, look at this. This is... Intriguing. Very open world. Where do I go? I don't know, let's see how far we can travel before I hit an invisible wall. I'm sure there's something that will come- Oh, nope, there we go. We've been had. Interesting. Was that an ending? Wait, 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 oh, wait a second. Wait, wait a damn minute. This is different. Uh, different in that it's original. We're not at the area with the vent. This might not be an ending. Does my phone have a message on it? What else is different? Huh. All of his co-workers were gone. Wait. What could it mean? What? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Maybe. No matter how hard Stanley looked, he couldn't find oh. a trace of his co-workers. Are we in the confusion ending again? What? But... I... just... <laughs> Huh. There's a ladder. Is that always there? I'm just, is, is there anything different that I need to be concerned about? There's like stuff scattered on the floor. Awaiting input. Can't really successfully touch the computers. New con- real new content. No, or I'm sorry, new new content. Well, it really wants me to go for the new content. Does that mean that this is all old content? 
When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, oh, shit. he There's entered no the door back. on his left. Oh man. Well, what do I do now? I guess follow the rules. Yet there was not a single person here either. Oh, Feeling man. a wave did I, did of I screw it up? Stanley decided to go up to his oh, I should have gone office, for the new new content. He might find an answer there. Coming to a staircase, right, hang on. Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's Follow office. Follow the rules. Sorry, I didn't know I was gonna mess everything up here. Da, 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 da. Stepping We're into his manager's office, Stanley now. was once again stunned to discover yeah, not yeah, an we, we've done all this before. What was the code? Life. It was like shocked, unraveled. Two eight four Stanley five wondered or eight in two four five. One who of those. orchestrated this? Let's try two, what dark eight, secret was being held from him? Four, what he could not five. have known was that the Stanley was in such a rush to get through the story as quickly I as possible. I am in a little he bit of a rush. I, I made a him, single I made minute to just let the narrator talk. Sorry, I just want to restart. Isn't healthy. So he relaxed for a few moments with some calming new age music. I wonder if there's a way to. Oh. <sighs> this is this is very calming. Feeling soothed and rejuvenated, Stanley calmly walked oh. forward into the opened passageway. Look. Try this. When you enter the elevator, go down and up five times? Do I have the option to do that? Let's go down. I didn't know you could go back up when you're in the elevator. Narrator be like, hey brah, you gotta chill and wait a minute. Descending deeper into the building, Stanley realized Deeper he felt a bit bowels. peculiar. It was a stirring of emotion in his chest, as though he felt more free to think for himself, to Up question down the nature five of his times. job. Why did he feel this now, when for years it had never occurred to him? This question would not go unanswered for long. All right, it looks like I can go back up. Now, do, do I have to go up Oops. five times nope. and down five Never times? Mind. That'll be a lot. Stanley actually got back into the elevator and went back up. Silly me. Silly me? Why did Stanley do that when he knew that it would just lead back to his boss's office? Well, that's a great question. I, I just was told to by my chat. Out. You know, I, I, I've got so many people to listen to. My narrator, random people on the internet. I'm trusting their judgment. We could go back, but uh, let's go down. Can I not? Wait, the elevator doesn't work anymore. Alicia, I can't use it. There's no button. Back inside. Here we are, Stanley. It's your boss's office. It is. Exactly the way it was before you got onto the elevator. That's right. It's still just exactly what it is. It, that's right. What a decision you've made to come up here and look at the office again. It was a this bold has move. This fleshed out the plot of the story in new <laughs> and fascinating ways I could have never anticipated. It's that keen eye for storytelling that you have. An incisive rapid fire of critical plot points, one after the other, weaving a rich tapestry of uncompromising narrative. Wow. <laughs> I'm bolted to the edge of my seat. Thank you. Um. Now that you spoke, can I go back to the elevator? I can. Okay. I see. Incredible. Now he's <laughs> getting back into the elevator Amazing. and going down again. Ladies and gentlemen. How does he keep coming up with all of this? I don't know. Alright, 
Supporting that. Moving on. Surely this time Stanley will walk forward into the spooky corridor, won't he? Oh, you thought. Sweetie, Did don't underestimate me. Did you think we were going to go forward down the spooky corridor? No. No. It's time once again to go back up in the elevator. Of course. I can't even begin to grapple with what might be up there. Is it the boss's office again? Or what if it's the boss's office this time? The suspense is killing me. Alright, so that was... Does this mean that we're on time number two? <laughs> oh man, this is gonna be a long playthrough. <laughs> up, down, up, down, left, right, star. Alright, is it still the boss's office? Oh! Oh my god. It's the boss's <laughs> office. <sighs> this absolutely sucks. changes everything for me. Give me a time out here for a minute while I process this. Okay. Oh. <laughs> okay. We're gonna hold, folks. Okay, I'm ready. <laughs> I'm prepared to embrace this stunning revelation and to move forward with... No! No, wait! No! I need more time to process. <laughs> oh man, he's really gonna dick us around now. We pissed him off, folks. Please hold. <laughs> All right. I have fully come to terms with it. Have you? I have made space in my worldview for this astonishing new reality. As before, I turn to your expert eye for gripping narrative, Master Stanley. Ooh, thank you. All right, well, as the master, what I think we should do, narrator, is I think we should go down the elevator to the spooky corridor. What do you say? Of course. Going back down in the elevator. I know. How did I not anticipate it? I mean, sure, now it's obvious, but you have to understand that 30 seconds ago, this kind of thing had never been attempted before. Never. I had no frame of reference to even anticipate it. That's just how revelatory Stanley's decision-making is. A breath of fresh air in a landscape of storytelling that has grown stale and repetitive. Loading. There's the corridor, but you know what? I think we have to go back up. I'm sorry. Is he just not gonna talk to me this time? Hmm. You know what? I've just thought of something. Yeah, what's Hold that? Hold on, let's stop for a moment. Don't you realize? It's the anticipation, Stanley. You and I, we have no way of knowing what will be at the top of this elevator, but the suspense, the I agony think of waiting it's be and the anticipating, boss's and having to guess, that's the real thrill. The most thrill. Oh, I simply don't want to let that feeling go. It's so precious, so fleeting. Mm -hmm. Why don't we take this elevator ride nice and slow? I'm about it. Let's build up the suspense. There we go. Isn't this so much more exciting? You know, Stanley, mm -hmm. it seems like nowadays the only thing that audiences want is to be shocked as loudly and frequently as possible. They want big, explosive moments flung right in their faces from the very moment that things get started. I hope you'll Where's deliver. Where's the tension? Where's the trust in the audience to build a slow and nuanced appreciation for the story? The characters? Why aren't we given time to imagine the surprises? To have to think and to anticipate and then to marvel at the eventual reveal. This is storytelling, Stanley. What you and I are doing right now. This is the most exciting narrative to be developed in years. Oh, and it's really all because hallway. of you. You're the one who took this bold step of revisiting the exact same locations over and over. I Truly, know, I'm I a mean bold it. Kind of guy. This is unique and different. It's not like anything else out there. You see, I want stories that surprise me, Stanley. I want to have to think. I want to be engaged and not pandered to. 
We're being fed such unimaginative drivel all the time, and we all know it. Which is why we're so starved for content. It's kind of cool that now that it's going slow, you can see and alive. so much more stuff that's going on here. That's why people like you so much, Stanley. Because you're not afraid to spit in the face of tradition. You're I'm a not. role model, you know. Oh, people no, I'm not a role model. Which is why, Don't make though that I didn't mistake. know when to spring this on you, but, well, I've oh, we've gathered been a little press conference for you. So that you can talk about your work and your storytelling and your life. Yes, I know you're not much for the public eye, but I thought it would especially mean a lot to the people who have been following you from the beginning. They really look up to you, Stanley. I don't know Who's if that? you realize the impact you have on them. This is the kind of gesture that might leave a tremendous impact on them for the better. Oh, good way. Wow, look at this place! This is different. Okay. Okay, She's fancy. The room where we're holding the press conference should be just around the corner. Live here, on somewhere. stage, it's Stanley! All eyes on Stanley. I can't take my eyes off you. Storyteller. The storyteller. Wait, what? Is this the storyteller? That is that his face? That's not Stanley's face, right? Stanley's that guy. Wow, what is this? World's healthiest human being, all tricks revealed. <laughs> oh God, it's like an Instagram post. How we did it, the pyramids. Nice. Live, the guy who went to Mars. Okay, I'm a fan, let's move. Stanley, are you getting nervous? World peace baby. An evening with it. Hope it's not the one that I let die in the fire. Ah, yes. Here it is. Just stage through this door. door. Man, I want to go this way. Tonight, live on stage, it's Stanley. Stanley! World's first sentient machine. Oh, it's a drill? That's odd. All right. To right. stage. Are you ready? Welcome, Stanley. I've told them you're going to speak a little Stanley bit about Ryder. the nature of surprise name? in storytelling Almond's and what it means to table, craft a truly bar. unpredictable narrative. Oh, don't worry. Wow, you're too great. On? Just be yourself and speak from the heart. I'm, I'm really proud of you, Stanley. Okay, it looks like they're ready Four, for you. Seven. Go get them. Okay, well, give me a second. I want to look at this. Can I get it closer? Congratulations, Stanley. Remember where you came from? The land? <laughs> um. Oh, man, I'm going to get real close to my computer. Story. Stanley. Me. Okay. Break a leg. <laughs> Your boss. Hmm. All right, so do, do I go up? The dude who came up with pizza. Man, there's so many famous people. How am I going to top any of them? All right, are, are we ready? I'm going to go into my TED Talk. No pressure. What am I going to talk about? This is how I push buttons in the office, folks. Take a listen. Oh, wow. Oh, my God. Girl, you better sissy that walk. Do, 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 do. Oh, look at me. I have a face and everything with the elevator button. Down, then up, then down, then up, down, then up. Oh, where, where, where are we going? I'm not ready for it to be done. No, I need to make the end of the stage. I I thought I had more time. Ah oh, man, that was a good end. That was so delightful. I just. I wanted it to last a little longer, is all. Hmm. Alright, so... Here's the thing. It's getting a little bit close to 6 o'clock, so... Chat, I've got some advice for you. If there's a ending you think we could go for, something we can do in the game that'll be short and quick, we could probably do one more, if it's short and quick. I'm talking like a 10 minute thing we can blow through fast. Um... Otherwise, I might end it, because uh, I'm, I'm looking to end at around 6 o'clock. 
I'll, I'll wait for the 30 seconds. If any of you guys have a suggestion on a run you think we could do pretty quickly. Um, and then... I'm gonna have to try and play some more Bowser's Inside Story probably when I get a chance. I don't know if I'll be able to do an early stream tomorrow. If I have the opportunity, we could try. Um, but dude, especially now that I can get this game to run a little bit smoother, we're gonna have to keep playing this. This is just so exciting to me. We'll have to, we will have to make time to incorporate the Stanley Parable in with Bowser's Inside Story. I don't know how long this game is. I don't know how many streams it would take, but it, it seems that there is a, a good variety of stuff to do, and you guys have told me that there's a lot to do, so it's fine by me. Hi. Mm. Of course, as I continue to wait for your feedback, this will be a great time for me to say, make sure you please leave a like on the stream, the engagement really helps. Um, and, and so I do very much need it. <laughs> um, no new content for now. Try to get out of the window by jumping from the table. I can't jump in this game, though. Well, I guess that's why you're saying jumping. Um, which table, which All of his window? All co-workers oh. were gone. What could it These mean? Windows? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. No matter how hard Stanley looked, he couldn't find a trace of his co-workers. I couldn't. I can't really... Wait, which table do you mean? <laughs> Not here. Try to get out the window. Was it the white windows or one of these there's not a table here uh i shouldn't go too far i don't want to i don't want to trap us again not new content and that's the doors i don't think we want to go to the doors yet um so let me backtrack whoops Out the chair. One of these, try to get on a chair, then onto a desk, and then the window. Can I, can I get on this chair? Whoop. Am I on it? Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. I, okay. Whoa, 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 we're somewhere. Oh, oh, I did it! Wait, did I do it? At first, Stanley assumed he'd broken the map oh, until no. he heard this narration and realized it was part of the game's design all along. Oh. He then praised the game for its insightful and witty commentary oh, it's into the so nature witty. of video I game structure it. and its examination of structural narrative tropes. Yes. So, now that you're here, what do you think? I think Isn't it's a this a bland. fun and unique place to be? We're Why don't we bounds. take a minute just to drink it all in? Okay, I'm over it now. What do you think? Are you sick of this gag yet? Are you sick of this gag yet? Mm, no. Ah, then in that case, we'll continue. Please do. But now, here comes the real I question. The oh, yeah, what do you there. think would have happened if you had told me that you wanted this to stop? Do you think it would have been particularly different? Would I have taken the same idea but rephrased it superficially to fit that answer? Perhaps Probably. you never would even have thought of it if I hadn't brought up the issue in the first place. Oh, now, think about it. Would it be worth it for you to restart and then come back here just to do the other <laughs> option? Clearly, this I whole put it game past takes me. some time. It does. What if the other option is even longer? How long will you spend in total just to have heard all the narration? Oh, and this is rich. Perhaps you've just played the other option, and now you've come to see what happens in this one. The other so, option. What do you oh, think? It would be the same. Which choice was the better one? Imagine if you had selected continue on your first playthrough, how tantalizing it would be not knowing what happens when you pick the other option. Indeed, you are one of the lucky it, it, it's ones. It's funny because Though I do think about this all the time. Really Every time you make a choice to, in video games, you're always like, not. well, what if I chose the in other fact, thing? I'm just and if you chose the other thing, no it, it's like nothing different would have happened. Well now, I've built up the other options so much yep. that I'm going to stop talking and leave you to your decision whether to come back here, continue with the game, or just sit in this spot forever <laughs> and ever. Cheers. Cheers. So wait, 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 I don't understand. Can I pick the other option? Oh, is he gonna leave me stuck in here? Wait, where's the skip button? 
Hello. Guys, Stanley's having a private moment to himself. Himself. We'll let him finish. Oh. Great. Well. I guess. I, I guess this is it. <laughs> Do I have to actually do a hard reset? Because it's funny to me. We've never had to do that, I don't think, before. Like, the game always picks, kicks you out. Have I ever played Life is Strange? I have not. Um, I mean, I'll do it. I'll reset. But just let me know if, like, that's correct. Because I don't want to do a hard reset if I'm supposed to do something else in here. I don't want to fuck it up. I'll trust you, Alessio. You seem to know what's going on. Alessio. Alessio? 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 <laughs> Alopecia? <laughs> well. This has been an experience and a half. <laughs> I'm glad that we played this today. I'm glad that I was able to bump the frame rate back up to 60 frames per second. Um, that was pretty lucky for me. I wish I had known about that the first time. Now I'm even more upset that my first stream of this game is all choppy and wonky. But it is also 6 o'clock, so assuming that there's no way out of this and we just have to do a hard reset, I think this is where I'm going to call it for the night. Uh, thank you guys so much for hanging out with me tonight. I hope to maybe do an, a, a daytime stream maybe on Saturday, but, but I'm not promising anything, so don't hold me to it. <laughs> um, and then I've got to get ready to go out tonight and then do Gay Pride stuff all weekend. And then we'll probably be back to my regular schedule possibly Tuesday, because Monday I might also have to do an early stream if I'm going to be going out to dinner with my family again. I know it's a busy time, it's a weird time, but streams will, for the most part, continue at 7 o'clock. So expect them normally then, but I'm going to be a little bit more liberal with um, switching around stream times when it's convenient to uh, do that without having to cancel a stream entirely. Anyways, that's gonna be it for me So thank you guys so much for hanging out with me, and I will see you when I see you next. All right Toodles friends